Hello everyone, I'm Caitlin Lowens. I'm the Artistic Director of Theatre Works, and today I am here with Sarah Shepard Shaver. I'll be the director of The Half-Life of Marie Curie. Ah, Sarah, we're so excited to have you directing. I am so excited too. This has been a, a big goal of mine, check mark. Well, we feel very lucky to have you. So this is great. So I have three questions for you about the okay. play to get folks excited about The Half-Life of Marie Curie by Lauren Gunderson. You ready? I hope so. Let's go okay. for it. First, will you tell us what is this play about? So the play is about some real life scientists who happen to be ladies, um, Marie Curie, whose work on uh, radiation and x-rays and all of that got her um, several um, Nobel prizes and um, awards and things and advanced medical science. And then um, her friend, Hertha Ayrton, who um, was, uh, did a lot of, of science on, um, on wavelengths and the science of waves. And so, um, you know, Marie, Marie had some controversial things happen in her life. Um, her, her partner passed away. She had a little a dalliance with a married man. And so um, the, the press was really after her. And so um, her friend who was a, you know, admirer and had met in parties, but also like really admired her brain and what she was doing in the world was like, come, you know, use me as, as, a, as a safe landing place while you would get you through this. And so she goes to live with Hertha while she is um, kind of um, recovering, recovering from some of those um, those personal shocks uh, to get back on her feet and continue her work. So why are you excited to be directing The Half-Life of Marie Curie here at Theater Works and now in 2023? Um, well, I... Uh, I am excited because I love these um, these really human stories about um, real life real life scientists, real life historical figures, and seeing kind of like a peek inside. I love Lauren Gunderson's writing and how she um, you know uses biography and and um, real historical events, but also to sort of um, dissect and peel back the layers of the the humans behind the the figures. Um, and give a peek inside their their friendship, their humanity, their um, insecurities, what they what they want to do in this world, and sort of what's holding them back from doing their best life in this world, and and how they overcome that. Must feel like really good questions for right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, there's this really great quote in, in there that says, I, I think it's what every woman is punished for being alive and enjoying it. And I think that that is, uh, you know, still relevant right now. And I'm, I'm excited to um, direct a piece and, and be alive and enjoy doing that. And, um, you know, full speed ahead anyway. I love that. Thank you, Sarah. Okay. Last question. Who is this play for? Who should come see it? Gosh, um, well, I, I think I would, I would love to say everyone, but I think that maybe there's some um, people who have maybe an intellectual bent, um, people who like his, histories, um, people who like um, feminist issues. But I, I think this is mostly for like teens and adults um, because there is some, some language and some subject matter that I feel like might not be appropriate for kids. Um, I'm gonna not gonna lie. I'm gonna bring my 12 year old to see it because I think she really needs to. So people who are ready for the juicy stuff. People who are ready for the juicy stuff. People who um, who like a nod to history while also uncovering current um, current themes. I love it. Thanks so much, Sarah, for taking the time to talk to us. Thank you for having me.